Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we are going to be reviewing the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. So here it is. It is a very beautiful packaging, very pretty, and there's like little beads in it. Um, so I'm super excited to try this. Um, I did read up a little bit online to see what it says. It is one of the items I did get from Ipsy. Um, so what it was saying is that like the little beads have um, like bursts of vitamin C in them. So when you rub them on your face, it like bursts out and gives your skin what it needs. It gives you more of a like hydrating, glowy look. It's also supposed to make your foundation not look so cakey and it also is supposed to hold in um, your moisturizer, which is really good. Um, every Ciate London product I've ever gotten, I have loved, so I'm hoping that this delivers. Um, I did, like, there was so many mixed reviews online when I did read them. Um, and I normally try not to read reviews before I try something, you know, because then it kind of puts it in your mind and makes you nervous. Um, but I did read a little bit, and, like, the first three, one of them said, like, Oh, it felt great, but it left my skin super oily, um, which that made my foundation not really go on right. So that made me nervous because my foundation is a CC cream and it has sunscreen in it. So it already is kind of like a sheer foundation. So I'm hoping it works out okay. Another person though said that they loved it. It kept their skin hydrated. And then another person said like, oh, it's so lightweight. Like I couldn't even tell it was underneath my foundation. So, I mean, there's two goods, one bad, so I'm just hoping, you know, like, it's good. I guess it's really, I mean, that's all we can hope for, right? Um, so here it is. Um, it is called, once more, the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Um, it is a sample size, and we are going to go ahead and give it a try. Oh, it smells amazing, amazing, you know, like, it smells just like straight watermelon. So here it is on the finger. As you see, there is a little bead in it. It is very runny. Oh, but it, it feels nice. Oh yeah, and then the beads burst really easy. You can't even feel it when it does burst, which is nice, because I was a little worried that like it was gonna almost be like an exfoliating bead, which I mean, I really didn't want. I'm just gonna rub that on my face. Oh my gosh, it just like it smells amazing. Like, you know, the watermelon Jolly Rancher, that's literally what it smells like. So, because it is a primer, I'm not gonna put on a lot because I don't know who does put on a lot of primer. Um, so I feel like that should be good enough. Should be good enough. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and rub it in and get some thoughts on it. It is, um, it didn't feel oily on my finger, so we'll go ahead and see how it feels with this I already washed my face toned my face and I used a moisturizer that I know works well with my skin so if I do break out we know it's this item and not the moisturizer um okay once you get rubbing it around it is very uh hmm, like moisturizing uh it's very like wet feeling so It also says, it claims that it's gonna hold in your um, foundation really well. So normally after I put on primer, I like to wait a few seconds before I just dive in with my foundation. And that is with any primer I do that to kind of let it sit, lock into place before I smash another product right on top. Um, so while I'm waiting, I'll just go ahead and get my foundation ready. I always shake up my foundations. I don't know about everyone else. I don't know if you're supposed to but I do um I'm gonna be using the Mary Kay CC cream foundation it has sunscreen in it which is really good for skincare as well so there's that um it has almost been roughly a minute that it has been sitting on my skin my skin does feel kind of oily and tacky um that doesn't mean it's bad. If anything, tacky means that it might hold the foundation in better. So let's go for it, guys. This is how I apply my foundation. Sorry if it freaks anyone out. 
sometimes it be like that. I know this foundation looks really dark for my skin tone, but I promise you once I add everything else, it just looks great. If you don't believe me, just, you know, head over to my Instagram and give it a little follow follow. You'll see it works out. It's, it's okay, guys. It's okay. You just have to trust the process. So let's go ahead and see how it holds with foundation. Now let's go in and really get that coverage with the foundation. Okay, I think we are fully covered. Um, I will say a few key things is the primer doesn't, you can't smell the primer anymore, um, which is great because it did have a very watermelon smell and I feel like if you could smell it all day, it could get a little overwhelming. But once on the face and rubbed in, you really couldn't smell it, which is great. Um, foundation wise, I do, Feel like my skin is a little dewy my skin does tend to be a little dewy with this foundation so I normally do add setting powder but I'm not gonna do that on this video um, I yeah I mean things are a little dewier a li little dewier not even a lot um, but I do feel like as I was putting on my foundation like sometimes it feels really cakey as it's going on um, but with this primer it actually doesn't feel cakey and I honestly feel like I got like a really good um, what's the word like coverage coverage like it just kind of seemed to work better you know I don't know I think I, I think I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this. That is this Yate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Guys, I don't have really anything bad to say about it. I mean, especially if you're going for a dewy look. Like, girl, you, you got that wet look going on. So, um... One out of five, five being the best, I would definitely give it a five star. Um, it felt great on the skin. You didn't have to use a lot to get that prime on there. So this is going to last me quite some time. Um, I felt like it helped my foundation go on better. It didn't feel cakey as it was going on, which is a great feeling. Um, like the smell didn't stay and the smell wasn't overwhelming. It was actually refreshing and nice. So I think overall, I really did enjoy this product. I mean, I don't have any really negatives against it and I don't see where that negative, um, you know, rating came from with that person, but everyone's skin is different. So I'm not saying like her, her points weren't valid. I'm just saying like, you know, for me, I, I loved it. So definitely, I would say give this a try. At least give it a try and, you know, go from there because I personally thought it was good. Well, that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Also, we have more videos and beauty looks over on my Instagram, so make sure to go follow there, and that is at jbunny. I will also put it down in the description for you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!